Welcome to this wonderful weekly Hope and Healing live stream. Uh, today we do that for Europe. It's one o'clock the afternoon. Uh, maybe you are at work or you are maybe on your kitchen cleaning the dishes or maybe you are in the lockdown like many people here in Europe. But maybe you are watching from another country or another continent. So welcome. We really believe the good news is that Jesus is alive and is with us. And the Bible say, put your hope. That's in Psalm 37. It's actually David, the King David, who wrote that. Uh, in this season, the Psalms are just amazing, like always. But uh, I know many of you are challenged regarding your finances or your health. Uh, like here in Switzerland, the hospital, they are overpacked. Uh, they're going to make declaration, the government, uh, that uh, it's really an emergency like it is in many other countries. Uh, but the Lord is telling us, uh, put your hope in the Lord. Travel steadily along his path. He will honor you by giving you the land and you will see the wicked destroy. I really believe today as I will a few minutes invite a very good friend from Australia, full of hope uh, that God is going to touch you in a powerful way. Also, I would love to invite you to invite your friends. So go to your Facebook or your YouTube and share it that friends can join and can be part of that because we're going to pray for the sick, but we're going to pray also that this peace of God may invade your soul and the joy of the Holy Spirit, despite the situation, despite what's happening, I really believe that God is going to touch you. Also, it will be wonderful as the people are joining now this Facebook Live and the YouTube. Uh, you can go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, where you can subscribe for free for the weekly Hope Inspiration. I'm writing every week some inspiration coming from the Lord that will help you not only for your religious life, but also for your family, for your business, for your daily life. So be sure to have this free uh, weekly hope inspiration, and I'm sure it's going to bless you. If on your uh, Facebook or on your text, uh, if you could put where you are coming from, that will be a blessing because I love the nations of the world. I love the people coming, writing. I see people from France, Alsace, uh, Belgium. Welcome, my friend, from these different countries, Latvia. That's fantastic. Brazil. Please just write your, the name of your country where you are watching. That will be a blessing uh, because we love the nations of the world. And again, welcome from this hope and healing. Every week we have this live stream show. And next week we will be with Dr. Heidi Baker, a very good friend, but not only a good friend. She is actually my spiritual mom. And she is such a great lady. Uh, she is called, like from many people, like the Mother Teresa, but full of the Holy Spirit, praying for the sick, bringing the resurrection power. And be sure to pray for her because she is also facing major challenge in Mozambique. The media, as they cannot say it so loud, because actually the terrorists are taking some part of the land and it's thousands of people are killed over there, and uh, it's really a challenge. So thanks to pray for Dr. Heidi Baker, as we have to pray for each other. So again, welcome for the people from Russia, fantastic. Uh, I love God, I love Russia. I'm trying to find out some word, Slava Bogo, that's the word I remember, God, to God all the glory. Uh, many people from Russia, Hungary, Australia, welcome, my Australian friend. Cyprus, that's fantastic. Oh, from Qatar, bless you, Bianca. We love you so much. We are praying for you, your family and your country. And we believe that God is going to move in a powerful way. And God is going to use you in a powerful way because you are not there for um, like that. God has a very good plan for you. People from UK, Lithuania, Oh, from Radio Maria in Lithuania. God bless you. I would love to be in touch with you. 
people from UK, Germany, Australia. That's cool to write the place where you are from. If you are watching from Austria, we want really to bring our uh, support like we did for France next week, uh, like last, last week, sorry. Uh, we've seen the terrible terrorist attack this night uh, and be sure that we are praying for you. We are praying for Austria the last year. We ran this big stadium in Vienna. We saw how God loves the Austrian people and how he healed them. And I really believe God will not forsake you. He is with you. He is with Austria. And I believe Austria shall be saved as every country are going to be saved by God's power. So let me invite today a very powerful man. I, actually, I want to read it, what he is doing. It's my team. They prepared this bio. Uh, Tim Hall is one of Australia's leading evangelists. Uh, together with his wife, Jack, they have ministered extensively throughout the world for over 40 years. Uh, their forthright and anointed preaching, and that's the truth, you're going to see and feel the anointing, the presence of God, uh, as Tim is going to share his heart. Uh, Coupled with a great manifestation of the power of God, he has seen over one million people saved, thousands healed, drastically changed, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and filled with a fresh touch of revival power. So I would love to welcome my very good friend, the evangelist pastor, Tim Hall. Tim, are you here? Bonjour, mon ami. Oh, Ça va? C'est très bien. <laughs> By the way, si tu parles français, je suis obligé de parler à mes amis francophones. Nous je parle un peu seulement, un, un petit peu. Où est-ce que tu l'as appris? À, à l'école. Uh, euh, quatre oui. ans. Euh, alors, vos enfants de patrière, so je parle un peu seulement. Il faut que tu viennes chez nous en Suisse romande, en Belgique, en France. Et pour les amis qui nous regardent de la France, euh, nous avons débuté les soirées miracles et bien disons, sorry for those who are speaking English, I will come back in English, it's not a French program, but I want just to communicate to the French people, euh, on va avoir un programme en français, espoir euh, et guérison. Euh, je dois encore en parler avec mon équipe, voir comment et sous quelle forme, mais c'est vraiment quelque chose que j'ai sur le cœur. So be blessed, my friend, just to say that uh, we just launched this uh, also. We will launch this weekly Hope and Healing in French. Uh, and of course, we already have this monthly Miracles and Healing service uh, in French as well. We had it the last Thursday when it was this terrorist attack in Paris. Uh, and thousands of people have been touched from the French countries. So again, Tim, welcome for this Hope and Healing. How are you doing, my friend? I, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I, I, um, well, I, I'm. I just had a uh, complete knee replacement one week ago, and uh, I wanted. To, I was believing for my miracle for a long, long time, 17 years, and then it got that way that I could. Could uh, I was really struggling so badly that my wife, she said, "Go on, get an operation," and I've seen many great miracles in people's knees and wonderful healings, but. I've uh, seen the doctor and um, had knee surgery. So I got out yesterday. So, wow. so, so I'm, just, I'm recovering. I'm recovering it. It's going well. It's a speedy recovery. I'm just believing God for, for his hand in this. Um, even though I've done it medically, I'm believing God for a very quick recovery. And so I can get back out there because we're going to have a great revival globally. That's right. Uh, be sure that we are praying for you and we are expecting a total perfect recovery. Now, Pastor Tim, uh, we are living a crazy season. But before we speak a little bit about hope in this season, can you tell us uh, how did you meet God? Well, I, I was I was brought up in a, uh, an, a, a method in the Methodist Church. So I was from a very good Methodist family. Um, I didn't really, um, I wasn't a born again Christian. Um, I went to church. I was a churchgoer. And I think when I went to the school of art and trained to be an artist, um, I, I basically began to explore a whole lot of things other than God. 
And by the time I, I left the School of Art um, and, went, and went teaching, um, I was far from God. And I had, uh, and I was got very, very interested in occultic things, and and uh, uh, I really began to pursue a whole lot of things. Um, I was fascinated by ghosts and and paranormal, and then I began to have really bad experiences, and and they got worse and worse, and and I and I was in road accidents, and and then I had presences with me, and and it just got to a desperation point one night. When God spoke to me, and and uh, I came home to my apartment, and one of my friends, his uh, his marriage had broken, and he had nowhere to live, and he he phoned me. He said, "Look, I haven't got a place to stay. Can I crash at your apartment?" I said, "I've only got the room that I keep my paints in, and the fumes might kill you in there, but you can have it." And uh, he was having trouble with astral travel and out of the body projection and stuff, and. Um, he was in a mess with alcohol. I was too. I came home one night and he'd flipped out and taken a knife and carved into his arm, seven inch knife and cut a whole piece out of his face. And there was blood all over the place. And I went into my room that night. We got him patched up, put him into his room. I went into my room and, uh, I cried out to God that night. And, uh, the Lord spoke to me and said, you're on a slippery slide. And you're a leader and you're taking people with you. But if you don't get off it, you need to take my nail printed hand. Uh, otherwise, you're going into a lost eternity. And it was very shortly after that, I had a, a very, very powerful experience in a church in Adelaide, sitting in the back row, hung over because I drank tequila like water. And uh, Jesus met me in the back row, put his hand on my shoulder. And I walked down to the front of that church. The Lord met me. I was mightily filled with the Holy Ghost, and uh, I've never looked back from that day, Pastor. It was just a dramatic conversion, and from that moment, all I all I wanted was to, and have wanted, is to be a carrier of the grace and the power and the um, the wonderful Holy Spirit, and um, it uh, and that was going back. I was 26 then, and I'm now 72. Wow. So it's, it's been a lot of years, and. Uh, this is the first year that I haven't been traveling all over the place, all over the world. That's right. Uh, Pastor Tim, there are many people who are watching. They don't know about Jesus. Uh, uh, they heard about religion and they don't, most of them, especially here in Europe, but as I travel so worldwide, it's the case almost everywhere. The people don't want any more the religion. But uh, you met Jesus personally how the people can meet Jesus personally, and especially in this season, why do we need Jesus? As there is so many turbulences and trouble, uh, people are asking even that why God doesn't stop this pandemic and all these wars, this terrorist attack. What you will say to the people who are watching who don't know God? There's always trouble. A world that has, t the further the world is turning away from Jesus, and I think it's going to swing the other way. But the more the world moves away and says we don't need God, the worse it gets and the more trouble comes. And But, the, but I believe, and I've always believed this because it was in my life, that in every person there's a vacuum down inside. There's a vacuum that longs to be filled. And it's a vacuum that can only ever be satisfied by a living relationship with Jesus. You can be as religious as you like, go to church every week. You can do all sorts of religious things. You can meditate, you can um, go through chanting, you can do all these things, but there's only one thing that will ever satisfy that deep inner longing. And that is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And I tried to fill that vacuum with everything from alcohol, to drugs, to illicit sex, to to whatever, as to sport, to achievements, and nothing satisfied until Jesus Christ himself came and filled that hole. And every person has it. They don't like to admit it, but every person, when they're alone, realize that there's a vacuum in here that is crying out to be filled. And religion and church doesn't fill it. 
going to church isn't the answer. It is that moment where Jesus himself comes and we say, Lord, would you come? Cleanse me of every sin and come and fill this great ache that's down in my heart with your glory and your peace and your power. And it's an invitation. And something happens in that moment where the Bible speaks of us being born again by the Spirit of God. For me, when I walked down to the front of an altar at a church, I felt the hand of God on my shoulder. I got up and I walked to the front. And as I opened my heart, it was like suddenly a vacuum cleaner was switched on and God came and absolutely filled every part of my being. And it hasn't that hasn't changed. Um, I was 26 then, I'm 72 now. And in all that time, Jesus just gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and more real and more satisfying and more full of peace and more certainty. And in this troubled world right now, I think without Jesus, where would you turn? Where would you turn? The world is going to get, as people turn away from him and try to find answers in their own strength, or try with greed and everything else, man just finds himself deeper and deeper in pain. But the way out of that is to find him, Jesus, as Lord and Savior. And suddenly the whole world takes on a different light. Uh, for me, the very next day, I went outside and I looked at the sky and the, it was a different blue. And I looked at the trees and they were a different green. And I realized that I didn't have to have half a dozen cans or bottles of beer to face the day, but that I could go out that day and be absolutely saturated with this new relationship with Jesus. And it's simply an invitation for Christ to come in and change you. And you can do that right now. That's right. That's why I was willing to ask. My friends, if you just join this uh, live stream show, it's the Hope and Healing weekly uh, show. And uh, we are glad that you just joined it. And we would love to propose you to experience and to do something powerful that Pastor Tim from Australia is going to lead you. Pastor Tim, would you help the people to experience what you did and how you explain? Well, we're going to do a simple thing right now. And the first thing is to recognize our need for the Savior to come and wash away our sins. I knew that I had sinned and I'd sinned much against God. And I, need, I knew that I needed a Savior who would wash my sins away. I needed the love of God to come and then saturate me. And so I remember praying for, for the Lord to cleanse me and wash away all my sin and take the guilt of sin away and then to come in and be my Lord. And so we're going to pray those two simple things. Number one, I'm going to pray that, that he will wash. And I'm going to ask you to pray what I pray, to wash away sin. And then he says in Revelation 3 verse 20, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, he said, I will come into you and sup with you and you with me. And so the first thing that's happening is he is knocking at the door of your heart and saying, would you take the handle on the inside? Because he'll never force his way in. You open the door from the inside and you invite me in. And he said, I will come in and I'll never leave you, and I'll never, ever forsake you. And so we're going to pray that simple prayer now together. So I wonder if you'd pray this simple prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, pray, just pray it out loud. I am sorry for all of my sins. Lord, I've let you down in so many ways. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, would you come into my life tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit? Change me and make me absolutely new. I give you my life tonight. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. I invite you to come in. Fill the gap. Fill my heart. Satisfy my soul. Lord Jesus, please come. As my, my saviour and my closest friend. My Lord and my King. I give you my life. I will walk with you from this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My friends, if you've done this prayer, be sure to find a Bible. Today it's easy to find a Bible because it's God's Word. You can just download it to any kind of computer or cell phone and read it, or you can just buy it. Find one uh, and read it every day because God is going to speak to you. Also pray to God because prayer is to talk to him, especially in this season we need him. And uh, he knows where you are, what you are facing. And uh, if you've done this prayer, it's not just one prayer and it's finished. You want to have fellowship relation with you. So be sure to listen to him, but also to express and to explain your heart to him and to pray and uh, find a local community. I know today many churches like here in Europe, they are closed, but you can find some on Internet, like to our place every Sunday. Uh, the Gospel Wave Movement Gospel Center. We have uh, uh, the live church. Uh, I see that there is my friend Matthäus van der Sien who is watching from the Netherlands, House of Heroes. It is doing also a live stream every, every week uh, and many very good churches. But find a local community, not only uh, online, uh, a place where you can go and you can spend time with other brother and sister who met uh, Jesus. Uh, and uh, if you did today this prayer of salvation, connect with us. We want to help you. Go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org. There is an explanation of what you have done. And we want to send you some materials. And especially, also all those who are watching, I would love to send you a free weekly hope inspiration. So be sure to register to my website. Pastor Tim, we are willing to pray for the sick people. Because the people, many of those who are watching, they are sick. Uh, they are desperate, watching from different countries. I see that there is people from Brazil, uh, like we said also before, many other countries. Uh, uh, what would you say to the people who need hope as they are desperate regarding pain? Well, pain pain's a terrible thing, but Jesus is the answer to Basically, he is the physician. He's the Lord, our physician, who looks after every aspect of our being. And uh, he, wants to, uh, he wants to take that pain away from you. And I know I just had surgery, so I maybe have cheated a little bit in my healing. But I do know that the night that I was, after I'd had my surgery, the people in the next two cubicles that were on the... Um, recovery were in agony getting morphine and they kept coming to me and saying what how's your pain i said i don't have any i don't have any and i have very little pain and god wants to take the pain away from your body in fact god wants to heal you now he wants to set us free of pain emotional pain physical pain um pain out of hell tormenting pain pain of tormenting thoughts and fears fear has torment and that's a pain and he wants to set you free tonight he wants or today uh it's night time here but he wants to give you an absolute miracle as we pray and i feel the power of god right now for miracles that's right. for real miracles pastor please let's pray for the sick if you are sick my friend watching from any kind of countries any places i mean uh, just expect God's touch. That's the purpose of this weekly hope and healing. Not only to talk, but to bring hope, but also to bring the healing presence of our precious Lord Jesus. He loves you so much. He died for your sins, but also for your sicknesses. And today with Pastor Tim, we are going to pray for the sick. So if you are sick, 
just put your faith in him as Pastor Tim is going to pray first. Uh, also, if you want to write what you what kind of miracle do you expect? Uh, I see that uh, uh, a family friend in Sydney was due to have a triple bypass surgery today. I don't know if the surgery went ahead because he also had lung and kidney disease. Uh, he needs the healing fire of God to heal him. We're going to pray for these precious friends. Uh, and if you're watching, just write what kind of healing do you need. We may, we may flow also with the words of knowledge because God knows exactly what you need. Pastor Steam, please pray for the sick and we believe for great miracles today. Let's, let's pray. Can I ask you to do two things? Number one, if it's a physical situation in your body, put your hand on the sick part of your body. If it's a shoulder, if it's your back, if it's your neck, whatever part of your body it is, put your hand on it right now. And then as we pray, I want you to do something you couldn't do. Jesus said, uh, act your faith, stretch out your hand, go and wash in the pool of Siloam, stand up on your feet. So there was a command to act. Faith without an action is dead. And so as we pray, I want you to take a stand and begin to do something you could not do before. Start to move that sick part of your body and take your healing right as we pray now. Pat, you'll feel the power of God. Heavenly Father, all authority has been given in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. And Father, in the power of that name right now, let your healing power right now begin to go through sick bodies, right into shoulders, into shoulders, beside us in the shoulder. Let that shoulder come free right now. That cracked clavicle bone in Jesus' name. Let healing flow at this moment. That neck that has been damaged in an accident, my friend, begin to move it. You'll find it's coming free as we speak. Start to move that neck. Start to move that neck in Jesus' name. You'll find that it's coming free right now as we pray. Shoulders, you've been unable to lift your shoulders. Start to lift your arms. Lift them now. Lift them, lift them, lift them. Lift that arm. It's been frozen. Someone might help you. Just take it. Take it as high as you can now. Lift it. Lift it in Jesus' name. Lift it. Lift it. You haven't been able to bend. Stand up and start to bend. It might hurt the first time. Now bend again in Jesus' name. Now bend again. Now move that hip, that hip that you're facing hip replacement in Jesus' name. Start to move that hip. Start to move it. Start to test it and move it in the name of Jesus. Father, let healing power absolutely fill every home watching right now. Let every person watching online come under the anointing, come under the supernatural anointing of healing. Let miracles take place. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate that you're raised from the dead. Demonstrate your strength, Father. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. Demonstrate, Father. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. watching. Just open yourself right now to this presence of the Holy Spirit. I welcome all those who just join us. It's a weekly hope and healing live stream show where we are not preaching about uh, a church or denomination, but just about a living God who loves you, who takes care of you, and who is going to help you to pass through this pandemic season, but also is willing to heal you right now. So if you are sick, just open yourself right now as we pray that God may touch you in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord God, for all those who wrote this prayer request. I pray for Laura who has this COVID. In the name of Jesus, we break this power of the virus. And we ask Holy Spirit to bring healing to the lungs, to touch every cell of the body and to save this Girl, in the name of Jesus, uh, I pray for Sabine, who is suffering from osteoarthritis. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we break this demonic sickness uh, and we pray that you can touch Sabine right now. 
I release the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for the friend of Barbara. Her name is Crystal. She has pain in the breast. In the name of Jesus, I pray for... The Bible said that Jesus died for our sin, for our sicknesses, but also he took all our pain. So by the stripes of Jesus, be healed from every pain, every disease. Right now, in Jesus' name, there is Barbara who is writing for, she has a multiple sclerosis. Holy Spirit, heal her. In the name of Jesus, there is many people who are expecting a miracle. So receive it right now in the name of Jesus. And as you receive it, the power of God is touching you. I want you to start to do things that you couldn't do if you couldn't move. It's as important as the prayer. Start to move. If you couldn't walk, start to walk. If you couldn't hear, hear it well in the name of Jesus. And we would love to hear what God is doing. Just give us the testimony. You can write to the website of healing-ministries.org or to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, uh, or to write <coughs> to the commentaries uh, just to give God the glory and that will be strength to bring power and glory to our precious Lord. Uh, the last week we had a powerful testimony as I was praying. A boy was listening with his mom. Uh, he was mute since seven, since seven years. Uh, he couldn't speak anymore. And the mom just wrote it this week. The moment we pray, his, his ears get open and also uh, the tongues get open. It's with the, no medical doctor were able to explain the problem, but for seven years he was mute uh, and suddenly he get free. And today the mom say he's talking so much uh, and he's able to go back at school. So that's a miracle that God wants to do in your life. And if God touch you, be sure to share a testimony of what God has done. Before we close it, because we arrive at the end of this live stream, next week we will have Dr. Heidi Baker with us. It's gonna be powerful as well, but we would love to finish with a word of hope. Pastor Tim, you are from Australia. Uh, you have been also in lockdown for many months in Melbourne and you are seeing these crazy things that's happening around the world with this terrorist attack and all these crazy things. Uh, what would you say to the people uh, where they can find hope or how can they develop hope? Well, the, the Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not yet seen. And so the Bible says now faith is the substance. And that word substance, standing down with strength of things confidently and certainly expected. And so for me, there's a whole lot of things that look bleak. And a lot of things that as you look in the natural, you think, man, it's not good. But then when you switch from there and you begin to say no, I am digging my feet strongly into the things that I am certainly and confidently expecting. Then all of a sudden my spirit lifts to another level. When I start planning and thinking and talking to people about crusades and the fact of where we're going to go and the fact that the enemy is trying to stop something, but God's about to do something extraordinary. And I swing my thinking from the negative things into the place of confident, certain expectation of hope. Stay confident. Do not cast away your confidence because it has great recompense recompense um, of good, a great recompense. And so stay strong. Stay in faith. Don't deviate. Hold fast the profession of your mouth. Be strong in your words. Recognize that God is in control and something fantastic is coming. And more than anything, recognize that you can trust God. The world looks crazy. You have your feet on solid rock. Walk with confidence because God is with you in the most powerful and strong, consistent way. Don't fear. Fear not. Fear nothing. Set your mind on him and be full of positive expectation. That was a powerful word. 
and we will practice that during this day and the next days. Uh, as we are hearing bad news, we will stay confident like you encourage us to do in our Lord God, who is the only way to find hope. So thanks so much, Pastor Tim, for joining us today. Uh, for those who are willing to be part of a Miracles and Healing School, go to the website healing-ministries.org where you can find all the information, having speakers from around the world, from different uh, uh, background, different uh, denomination, who have a strong healing ministries. Uh, if you want to be part of this school, you can still register. It's going to be a, a blessing for your life. Uh, uh, also, I would love to encourage all of you to go to my website to register. I want to send you for free a weekly hope inspiration, especially in this season where uh, it's not going to be just teaching about religious things, but practical way to find your peace, to find your joy, to make breakthrough. Maybe you are in the business. I know how it is. My wife is in the business. She is so much challenged in this season. Uh, the only way to come out of that is to put our trust in God alone. And if you do that, he will be with you. He will never forsake you. So God bless you. See you next week, 11 November, with Dr. Heidi Baker. Pastor Tim, thanks again so much. Give my love to your wife. I hope that she will not get mad to us because you join us despite your, you, that you came out of the hospital. But we are very grateful. We have been blessed. And we hope to see you very soon in Europe or to any place in the world. So God bless you. Love you very much. And my friend, see you soon. And never forget, there is hope in God. God bless you.
children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you